Then I'm going to go through the process of creating uh, an infolet. Uh, there's really kind of two major steps. The first one is creating uh, analysis and OTBI, and that's going to be the content for your infolet. And then the second is creating the infolet itself. And that's done with the, you know, creating a sandbox and then adding the creating the infolet and then pulling that infolet down to the content you've created in OTBI. So let's start with the OTBI step for, step one. So we'll come down here and go into OTBI. <coughs> we'll go to Browse Catalog. And again, just note, um, within the shared folder, custom is where we can store things. Um, these other folders are really, they contain a lot of pre-built content, you know, data models, BI publisher reports, a lot of information um, that, you know, are objects that are pre-built. So I can go into custom, you know, we can create folders, subfolders, we can save our uh, analysis and our reports there. So I think I already have a folder actually within here for the info lets. So let's create an analysis. We'll go into payables. And let's go transactions real time. And this will open our form. We'll go invoice details. We're going to create a report. Just kind of shows the top 10 suppliers by invoice amount. Invoice amount paid. We'll now come down to supplier, get the supplier name. supplier name. We'll put a filter on here. It'll give us the top 10. Filters are really critical when you're doing an infolet because they really contain the um, the knowledge or kind of the logic that decides what information is going to be presented. Um, so they're, you know, it, it kind of in essence doing a lot of that analysis for you. We'll go to results. We'll get rid of this, get rid of that. Uh, we'll go load a table, or actually let's load a graph. We'll do a bar, a vertical. <coughs> Here's our vertical. We'll edit this a little bit. And we make it a little cooler, 3D. We'll go in here. Uh, you kind of, we have, we're dealing with like limited real estate in terms of these infolets, so I make this a little smaller, right? Uh, they'll shrink it down a little bit. Uh, we can also change the title. Click on this. And we'll say top 10 AP suppliers. Just make something up there. And there you go. And then we'll just save this. Custom. I've got my infolet folder somewhere in here. There it is. And we'll just call it PM Top 10. And save that. Yep, we'll go ahead and run it. So make sure that that's saved. I'm actually going to save it again. Call PM Top 10 2. Just make sure I save it. Okay. And we'll say we're done there. And there's our layout. Again, you know, as a reminder, um, you know, like normally in a compound layout, you'll have multiple, you know, objects. You might have a table, you might have graph, but you really just want to keep this to, for an infolet, one object. In this case, just our graph. So we'll save that. All right. And so now let's go back to reports and analytics, and we'll go home. We'll come to System Administrator, Edit Pages, and this will tell us we need to activate a sandbox. I think I have one in here already. If I don't, we'll just create one. Yep. Now, just note a couple things. You can create your sandbox here. It, when you do, you want to add um, like paid compo composer and structure to it. So we'll just go in. Edit our enter our sandbox. And there we go. And so we'll go home here. 
we want to go back into edit pages. And now we can page down here. You have our info lets at the bottom. We'll refresh and load the content here. And there's our info lets. You know, that's the create info here. Just note also, I, you, you can uh, you know click these off things you don't want, maybe old ones, or you know you can kind of reorder everything and decide what you want. These are all the ones that have been created so far. You can go into create info. We'll create our new one, and we'll just call it AP Top Ten. We'll call it example, so we know it. You can pick your dimensions. This really gets into, and you sometimes play around with this, uh, picking the create, you know, the, the dimension that will allow your content to be um, displayed, right? Um, you can do two sides, like back view, or expand, you can also do expanded view. We'll just do one for now. And maybe we'll do the next, uh, uh, next sample we do. And we'll do uh, a back view also. So just save and close here. And you can come down. Now you have to add your content. All right. And we can go down to reports and analytics. You go down to OD, uh, OBIE repository. That's where we were in earlier. Shared folders. This should look familiar. Down here, custom. And then the folder we created, or actually we created, created earlier, was InfoList. Somewhere in here. In alphabetical order, and there it is. And we'll open that up. So here's the one we created. Let's go into open here, and we created the chart. So we want to go ahead and add that chart, right? So we'll click on add, and we'll say close. And there's our input, and if we want, let's see if we can go down here a little bit. Let's see if I can page down. Yep, that looks pretty good. So let's assume we're pleased with that. So we'll come up here and close this. Close the edit section. Note we're still in a sandbox. We'll go here to publish and say OK. And brought up, you'll just go to this screen and go publish. All right, at this point, it has been done. It's been published. You can go down. And we'll paste down a little bit more here. And there's our info left. And that's it. Again, there's a lot more details, a lot of different things you can do. You can see there's tiles on here. Uh, we can do all those. There's all, you know, kind of all kinds of different cool things that uh, that you can you can create and hopefully uh, make your uh, your demos more more relevant to the customer. Uh, really uh, be able to take and not just um, you know have information in the system. But be able to take that information and tailor it to a role um, and, you know, embed within it some analytics. That's it.